Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY, and today I'm going to show you how I installed a motion sensor. Before you start, don't forget to turn off your breaker. All right, so the very first thing we did is I installed two J-Boxes. This first J-Box is gonna be for our motion sensor, and this one is gonna be for our LED light. Now, a little quick thing on how I wired this. This wire right here is our lead coming in from our box. And this wire right here, a jumper wire, is coming from our motion sensor and going to power our LED light. So the very first thing we need to do is we have a bracket here for a LED light to mount on. So what we're gonna do is take our bracket and there's a grounding nut right here. We're gonna take that and install our ground. And then what we're gonna do with this is take our bracket and install it into our LED mount. Okay, now it's time to install our motion sensor. You'll see on, I'll post up a little picture here so you can follow along. On the side of our motion sensor is a little diagram. The first thing we're gonna do is where it says L, we're gonna attach our live wire. This is our hot side from our box. So we're gonna take this hot wire and that goes to the brown wire right here. So our hot black from our box and we are going to wire nut that together make sure that's nice and tight okay and then we have neutral coming from our box which is this one right here and we need to connect that to the blue wire but we also need to connect it to our white neutral jumper wire so these two white wires along with our blue wire right here, all three of these need to be connected together. So we'll just wire nut these together. Okay, now this motion sensor acts exactly like a switch. So we have our hot coming in and our neutral, but we need the hot side coming out the other side. And that's what this red wire is. This is going to our load, which is our LED light. So this red wire is going to our hot side, the black wire going to our LED. So we'll take our red and black jumper and wire nut these guys together. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our two grounds and we're gonna wire nut them together. Okay, so this completes all of the circuitry for this J box. So what we can go ahead and do is tuck all of our wires up in here and mount this to our J box. All right, we have our motion sensor mounted. So now we need to move over to mounting our LED. And I picked the uh, Sylvania flush mount LED. These things are super thin and they are really bright. They're almost up to, I think, 900 lumens out of this. Uh, these are perfect for low clearance overhead environments. And uh, they just, they're really simple to hook up. We have our black wire and our neutral wire. So what we can do is we'll take our black wire and we will connect it to our hot wire. Remember, our red wire off the motion sensor connected to our black wire, so that's gonna give us our hot side on this side. So we'll just take that and wire nut those together. And then just take our neutral and hook it up to the neutral coming from our motion sensor. Or 
Okay, so that's all we need to do. We already hooked up our ground for this side, so we'll try and neatly tuck our wires up here out of the way. And the way this flush mount works is that there are two circular holes on our bracket right here, and there's these little clips that will push up and keep everything in line. Okay, so we have it mounted up. Uh, like I said, low clearance. This is why I really like this light. All we gotta do now is test it out. Okay, so as you can see, this motion sensor works great. But I gotta be honest with you, I was a little skeptical at first. On Amazon, they had it uh, branded as a SenseGuy motion sensor. But when it came, it came in this generic looking box with no brand on it. And the instructions on the inside were definitely broken English, which added to the skepticism. But once we got this thing installed, all that skepticism vanished. The sensitivity on this thing is phenomenal. Just the slightest bit of hand movement will set it off. But if you don't want um, dogs, cats, squirrels in your neighborhood running around to set it off, you can turn the sensitivity down when, and only big objects like people or cars will set it off. There's also a setting for the timer. You can set it all the way down to 10 seconds, which is what I have it on. So if you're passing through a little small hallway like this, it'll trip the light on and after 10 seconds, it'll shut, automatically shut it off, which is a great power saving tip. Uh, there's also a Lux uh, setting on this. If you only want it to turn on maybe around uh, dusk or absolute darkness, you can turn that down. But if you want to set it where it turns on in daylight all the time, go ahead and turn it up to the sun position and it'll turn on all the time for you. With all of these uh, features, I think this is a great buy. Uh, it was the cheapest 360 degree motion sensor on Amazon. So being the cheapest with all these functions, I think this is the best bang for your buck. If you guys want to purchase this, I'm going to have a link down in the description below. If you follow that through, you guys are helping me out, so thank you in advance. And I'm also going to set up a link for the Sylvania flush mount lights. I use these all over my house, especially in the loft where there's a low overhead clearance. They're perfect for areas like that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you have any comments or questions, throw those down below. I love to hear from you guys, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. And then head over to my channel at Appalachian DIY. Hit that subscribe button so you keep up to date with all the latest videos that I'm coming out with. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.